Welcome back to the RipeWave Audio community. My name is John, and now it's time for RipeWave Audio news. This time it is Denon Marantz with a new processor and AVR. For Marantz, they're releasing the AV8805A, which supersedes the AV8805, and the Denon AVR X8500 HA, which supersedes the AVR X8500 H. The Marantz model is a processor, while the Denon is a audio video receiver. Along with these new models is an HDMI 2.1 upgrade board for existing models. Let's take a look at what these new uh, models uh, introduce. What has been introduced in these new models is the same for Marantz as it is for Denon. What you'll find is they've moved from HDMI 2.0b to 2.1, and with it, gained the capability to have pass-through not only for 4K60, as with the previous models, but now up to 8K 60 hertz and 4K 120 hertz, which will satisfy those who have gaming consoles that support those modes. Also added with the support is HDCP 2.3, upgrading from the previous 2.2 compatibility. What RipeWave Audio covered in our last news story was that Den and Marantz have a external unit that can be acquired for no additional charge. Well, Den and Marantz have provided a free upgrade path to models introduced in 2020, the AV8805 comes at a charge of $599. We'll get into more details on how that upgrade works later on. Taking a look at the back panels between the previous models and the new models, we see the main difference is that there is now a single input that supports the 8K signals. With these new models, looking at the back panels, you'll see that the new models support two ports at 8K and one port supporting eARC versus ARC in the prior generations while the Zone 2 output is still at 4K. Denon Marantz has uh, released photos of the board itself. No matter where you look on the Denon Marantz pages, these boards look the same, as Denon Marantz are from the same parent owner, Sound United, and they share components amongst them. Whether you look at the Marantz or Denon resources, you'll see the same benefits advertised a low latency mode, as well as a quick frame transport, both aimed at having lag uh, free smooth transitions. The quick media switching that Denon and Marantz advertised uh, shortens the time between switching of HDMI inputs, uh, reducing or eliminating the black screens in between uh, switching those inputs. And with the 8K support comes 8K upscaling. And finally, a variable refresh rate uh, caps off the uh, benefits. The last item that we'll bring up here be is the upgrade path for those that don't have the A model. And to do this, what they've asked you to do is purchase these boards, and the price is the same whether you buy it from Marantz or Denon, but you'll want to go on the respective page for the model that you have. They're $599 US list price. Once you've purchased this, you'll receive a box in the mail within a few days. You'll securely package that up, and once it was, is received by the service center, Within 72 hours, the factory will do the upgrade for you uh, and return it. When you receive the package, it will have an A sticker uh, signifying that the upgrade has taken place. Now, certainly having this type of upgrade versus the black box uh, uh, device that comes that, that is free for those that have purchased the 2020 models, with 8K support is a lot nicer. You don't have an external component to uh, deal with within your rack or um, media console. 
So we do think this approach is, is really nice. Uh, and if you look at the price differences between the new models and the, the previous models, you will notice that Marantz is asking $500 more for the new models. Topping off with the Marantz uh, model, which is selling for approximately $5,000. With the upgrade at $600, they're really uh, those who have purchased the 8805 previously or the X8500 uh, will feel like the difference is really only $100. Rightwave Audio applauds Denon and Marantz for making these upgrades available to existing customers and making the products for new customers available to the market. What we do point out though, is that only one input supports 8K. And surely as time goes on, more and more devices will support 8K. And we believe uh, those who are moving to 8K will long for more than just a single input uh, for in, in their AVR or processor. And this is something that Yamaha has addressed with their new models. And that's our next news story to come. So please stay tuned to the RipeWave Audio community. And please share your thoughts on these new enhancements from Denon and Marantz and what you think this means to you. And does this enhancement enable you to jump in and, and take advantage of this new capability? Please let us know. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this RipeWave Audio community and be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as the next video is posted. Until then, keep evolving your audio experience.